Hello and welcome to lesson 7 in this tutorial series on how to learn how to program using Scratch. In the last lesson we looked at basic maths, so we looked at the four operators and how we can add numbers together or multiply them uh, using the four operators and variables. In this lesson we're going to look at something a little different, uh, but it is related to numbers and how we compare them. We're going to be looking at something called selection, and selection is where we get the computer to decide what to do next. Now that might seem odd, but in fact in a lot of games and programs you will often need the computer to make a decision as to what to do next. For example, it could be that if your character has fallen in lava that the game ends. Um, if you have um, been caught by an enemy you may lose a life. Uh, if you have collected a coin your score goes up and so forth. So in all of those cases the computer will decide what happens next depending on the situation. And that word that I've just been using in those uh, statements there is our powerful selection word. And that word is if. If is a huge word. Well, it's not, it's only two letters, but it's a huge word in programming because pretty much every single program and game will use it a lot. And we're going to be using it now to get the computer to do one of two different things depending on the situation, depending on the information that it gets. So let's have a look at our program here. This is part of the program we used last time. I've deleted some of the code from the bottom. So we're just left with the what is the first number and then set that first number variable to whatever the user asks us. Now we're going to change this program slightly so that instead of asking for the first number we're going to ask for their age. And then we're going to get the computer to do one of two things. Either tell us we're old or tell us we're young. It's as simple as that. Because let's be honest, most students at school put people into one of those categories. You're either young or you're old. You're either at school or you're old. That's pretty much it as far as they're concerned. So we'll keep it simple like that for the moment. So the question we're going to ask is what is your age? Let's just change the text inside here then. So what is your age? And wait. And then we can store that answer in first number. Well that variable doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's make a new variable and we'll call this age. There we go. So we'll store whatever answer they give us in the variable called age. Now at this point we have their age but we don't know whether to tell them they're old or tell them they're young. So we need the computer to be able to ask that question. If the number that they've given us is more than a particular value then we will tell them they're old. Otherwise if the number is less than a value we decide, we'll tell them they're still young. So how do we do that? Well we need to go to the control section and in this control section we can see that we have some blocks with that word if in it. Two of them here, if on the left hand side and if else on the right hand side. What is the difference between these two blocks apart from the fact that one of them has the word else? Well the difference is simply that in the first block where we just have the um, if section there we're saying to the computer if this is the case then do this action. That's it. It'll either do the action or it will do nothing. It's as simple as that. But with the block on the right hand side we've got an option here. If this is the case then do this action otherwise do a different action. So something will happen, something will always happen, it'll either be the first action or the second action. So how do we do that? Uh, well we're going to grab this block and get rid of it because we need to do one of two things. We either need to tell the uh, user they're old or tell them they're young. It's going to be one of those two things. So let's grab that block and snap it to the rest of our code. So if the age is more than something, 
Uh, now the more than and less than operators are in our green operators category and here they are it's these two symbols here. Now a lot of people do struggle to remember which one of these is which. If you are one of those people that does struggle to remember which is which, uh, then there's an easy way of remembering as long as you can remember which is your left and right hand. If you hold up your hands and you make the symbols of those two symbols, less than and more than, and you hold them up in front of you. Now I realize that you're looking at me in reverse, uh, so it'll work for you if you're looking at your own hands. But if you think of the left hand as being less than. So left hand less than. All right, that's the way to remember it. Left hand less than, um, and then the other one is obviously more. So if you can remember that, that will help you work out which of these symbols is which. Now we want the more than symbol, so we'll get rid of less than. This is the more than. So if you look at that symbol and you think of you holding your hands up, that would be your right hand there. And we'll drop that into that little space next to the word if. So if something is the case, if something is more than, we've got the number 50 in there, we'll probably change that, then what do we do? Well, the first thing is we'll need the variable in this space here. Let's go to variables and grab the age and drop that in the left-hand side. So we're saying if their age is more than something. Now, obviously I'm gonna insult some people here. Uh, what is considered old? Well, we all have our own opinion as to what is old, and it's probably basically a few years older than whatever age we currently are. However, I'm gonna think of it from the perspective of my students at school, um, bless them. Um, if you are one of my students at school, then yes, you'll know the kind of age you think I am. Um, but basically, I think most people of school age think that anyone over the age of about 25 is old. I certainly know that when I was 25, my students automatically assumed I was in my 50s and therefore old. Um, it's terrible, isn't it, the way they think? So we'll, t we'll take that number there. Uh, if you are 25 or 26 years old, um, then I'm not suggesting you're old, um, but uh, I think students at school probably would. So there we are. If the age is more than 25, then what are we going to do? Well, then we're going to tell them they're old. So let's go to uh, looks. So there we are, so we've got our age more than 25 in there. Um, we'll go to looks and grab the say hello and pop that inside there. So say hello for two seconds. Instead of saying hello, what we're gonna do is tell them they are old. So you are old, there we go. Now we'll say then that if the age is more than 25, then say that they're old, Otherwise, we'll tell them they're still young. That's what this else section here is for. So else, say they're young. Let's grab that say block, pop it over here. Uh, so we'll then say you are young. You are still young, there we go. Uh, so now we know that one of these two blocks of code will be run, but only one of them. We can't ever have both of them. We can't be old and young. So if the age is more than 25, we'll do the first action. Otherwise, whatever else we put in, we will do the second action. Let's run this code and see how this looks. So we'll go full screen, we'll click the green flag. What is your age? So let's put in uh, 16. Let's take a student at school who is 16. We'll type in that. There we are, you are still young. There is life in you yet. Let's click the green flag and put in a preposterously old age in there. Let's type in 47. There we are, who could possibly be that old? So we'll put 47 in there, press enter. Yep, there we are, you are old. Thank you. Um, so that gives us the ability to do two different things. So we can do the first action or the second action.
So that is a simple introduction to using selection. So selection, remember, is where we give the computer a selection of things that it can do and it will decide which of them it's going to do depending upon the information that it's given. So in this case, it will decide whether to insult you and tell you that you're old or reassure you and tell you that you are young. That's an if statement, otherwise known as selection. So in the next tutorial, we're going to look a little bit more at these uh, relational operators and how those work. Um, and that will help us to pave the way to make our first game in Scratch. So I'll have a look at the next tutorial and I'll see you there. Bye for now.